Gary, let's talk about the plastic pitch for starters. Four days training on artificial surfaces around here, and I suppose actually you'd have been looking for artificial pitches anyway because of it's been so cold. So yes. good job you got the bookings in. That's true. It turned out well actually, uh, as far as that's concerned. Um, and the sun has shined at the time that we needed it to shine to make the Astro pitches less slippery. And uh, yeah, it's gone well for us. And uh, been pleased that we've done it. We've still got another couple of sessions to go. One at Winchcombe School and one at uh, Tewkesbury. Um, the, what's the name of the school? school. Oh, it is Tewkesbury School. Um, so we appreciate them for allowing us to do that. Um, yeah, we've had to curtail language and make sure that we've uh, been on our best behaviour because there's been plenty of kids watching us, watching us train. So uh, that's been good as well. Um, might not get so many bookings. Um, but no, it's been uh, it's been good, as you say. So it's uh, thanks to those two schools. And the players have adapted, have they? There's been no Bambis on ices, so to speak. <laughs> um, that's my saying. <laughs> no, you're right. It's uh, It's been OK. Some of them have looked more comfortable than others, I must admit. Um, but uh, no, it's, it's, I've been able to make it competitive. As I say, we've still got two more sessions to go. So it's been nice. All of them want to play in this game, that's for sure. And I can see that because uh, you know they're all making sure that it's the right footwear. They're making sure that they're showing me that they don't mind a, a tackle on the floor or they don't mind frying themselves at a block. Um, your goalkeepers are diving all over the place. So uh, as far as that's concerned, I've not seen any anybody that's been frightened of the surface. And you can still play a high energy game that you want to on it, can you then? Yeah, we hope so. Um, you can definitely play a high energy game because that takes takes running. It's and we can do that. It's what you do with the ball within that running and within that passionate intent, if you like. So um, they'll have it as well, I should think, because it's a big game for them. You know, there's been a lot of advertising for it down there, and they're hoping for a, a almost a full gate. So. Um, What's it highlights on BBC? Is it? So it's you know it's it's one of them. It'll have one of them FA Cup uh, atmospheres. They slipped up midweek. Were you able to go and see that? And if so, what yeah, did you yeah, make was, of it? Yeah, I was there. Um, to be fair, they they rested six of their players, so it wasn't so much to go and uh, see the the team as such. Although you know basically what they're trying to do because we've seen previous games anyway. Um, but it was to see how the pitch played, um, and uh, it looks a decent little facility actually. The you know the pitch looks like you get into the game, and it doesn't really feel that much different. You're certainly, certainly not looking at it and thinking that ball's bounced higher or that ball's gone through quicker. Um, so I was it was it was getting the feel for the pitch with with a with a tempo, whether it's a slow tempo, high tempo, what happens to the ball sort of thing, and uh, it's, uh, I'm quite looking forward to it. Harry Pell, obviously back available this week uh, after a suspension. He's told us that he, he knocked on your door and had a little chat. Um, how pleased have you been with his attitude since? His, his attitude's always good. The lads that we, we got here have got fantastic attitudes. Um, Sometimes they're a bit inconsistent in their game, um, but they're all competitors. He's one, we talked about it before, because of his size, he's, you know, he, he'd make a tackle sometimes that looks like he's you know, a big bully in the playground. But, uh, and I think if you put together all his bookings, you'd take five away, in my opinion. Um, so we need to help him um, show that competitiveness, but he's going to have to change his game, otherwise he's going to be losing more games if he's not careful. And, and he's one of our real competitors that you need to compete. Everyone else OK this week? Um, yeah, yeah, everybody that, that is OK. I mean, we've still got our long-term injuries, but um, everybody that was available Saturday is uh, available again, other than Dan Ullman, of course, that we know is... We've got a few weeks out. You were very key on being up for the cup in the, in the last round. With the third round so close, is it the same again or is there a different message to the players just so it's not the same old thing again? 
Um, well, the same old thing again, only happens if that's in your own mind. So the players are thinking, oh, it's this old thing again. But no, we, we, we changed their focus pretty quick. We did the review of the Cambridge game. Um, and people were pretty honest in what they did and didn't do. And, uh, and then new chapter, FA Cup's different. We had a week to prepare. Um, different because of the pitch, different because of the tournament. So we, um, I think they've, they, they've been thinking about this, this second round in the hope that we can get through to the to the third round, of course, because we've done well in the cups this year. You know, we, we've done well in the was it the football league trophy, beating Charlton and having a good game up at Newcastle, the Checker Trade Trophy, with top of that league, um, with some decent teams in it, and and we've had we were through to the second round of the cup after a replay against Crew. So our cup games have been have been have been good. And it's just then a case of actually if you can take some momentum back into the league, then that could help you as well. Well, when that comes around, that's another conversation. There's your first question for the next, for, for next Thursday. <laughs>